Off-grid power systems are essential for a variety of reasons, and they play a crucial role in addressing energy, environmental, and socioeconomic challenges. Here is a comprehensive explanation of why off-grid power systems are important. 1. Energy Access Off-grid power systems provide access to electricity for millions of people around the world who live in remote or underserved areas. They bridge the energy gap for communities that are not connected to centralized electrical grids, helping to improve their quality of life and economic opportunities. 2. Rural Development Off-grid power systems promote rural development by enabling electrification in remote areas. Access to electricity can empower rural communities by supporting small businesses, enhancing healthcare and education facilities, and fostering economic growth. 3. Energy Security Off-grid systems can enhance energy security by reducing dependency on centralized grids. In regions prone to power outages or grid failures, such as during natural disasters, off-grid solutions ensure a reliable and continuous power supply, reducing vulnerabilities. 4. Environmental Benefits off-grid power systems, especially those based on renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydropower, are environmentally friendly. They produce minimal greenhouse gas emissions, reduce air pollution, and contribute to mitigating climate change, thereby promoting a sustainable energy future. 5. Energy Independence Off-grid systems provide a degree of energy independence. They allow individuals, communities, and businesses to generate their own power, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and imported energy sources. This can lead to cost savings and energy resilience. All right, guys, so this is the setup. I built this carriage for it, and I put wheels on it so it's uh, movable, and I have the inverter screwed on top the battery is connected from the back right here and then I drilled this hole and it's connected to this temporary battery pack so the live neutral and ground comes out of this terminal block they go down and connect to the circuit breaker and from there they go to the energy meter as you can see the metering live wire on top and then I have three sets of AC outlets, six in total. And then from the back, you will see the connection. These are basically parallel connection between the three sets of AC outlets. But obviously I'm not gonna keep it like that. I will add an enclosure to keep it safe. So let's go ahead and fire it up. It's uh, running. And then we can go ahead and turn on the breaker. All right, so I have a lamp right here. Let's go ahead and try the lamp. So the lamp draws 5.4 watts. So I'm gonna bring more devices. All right, so we have six devices in total with six outlets. I have a power tool battery is charging here. A fan. So let's connect the light bulb. Let's turn on the fan to max speed, 213 watts. This is on already, sort of soldering iron. Let's turn on this lamp. Let's crank up the heat. And 
now I have a heater. Went up to 1000. Sorry about the fan noise here, but as you notice, it went up to over 1,100 watts and then back down to 900 and change. That's because of the heating devices. Once they uh, reach a certain amount of heat, they start to draw less power. That's why it dropped back to 900 and change. And uh, this unit can handle up to 4,000 watts and we barely hit uh, 1,200 watts. So that's... Uh, a very good sign and also I'm only using a small battery as you saw in the video and imagine if I had a, a bigger battery that can handle a lot more current I'm planning to build a way bigger battery that I will be using with this device so here I cranked up the heat to the maximum and as you can see now we're up to 1700 and change watt voltage dropped to 44.9 volts and the battery is doing great I mean it's a tiny battery for this amount of load and it's not sagging at all as you can see heating does take a lot of power Alright, so this time I'm really about to stress the battery out. I have the fan, air conditioner unit, the heater, a lamp. I have some of the devices off so it doesn't surge over the 6000 watt that the device is rated for. Just turn it on, I have the microwave hooked up. The fan is on, the lamp. AC, we're up to 900 watts, everything is on, this is at the maximum, on, maximum, we are at 1700 watts, trickling down, 1600 All right, so moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn on the microwave for one minute. Boom. Oopsie, oopsie. Three thousand. Three thousand. But this drop to forty-two. It's gonna cut off weird noises. But it's one point seven volts. Microwave running, everything running, 3000 watts steady, voltage dropped to 41.5. The battery is huge, it's really doing well. 3000 watts, I can hear weird noises, 41.3, it's holding. Wow, I'm impressed by the battery. Wow, it's really getting hot down here. Check this out, 3000 watts. Still not hot enough. And the microwave is done cooking. And this didn't even shut down. That is impressive. And it went back to 1600. I'm very surprised that the battery held on. That's really impressive. This tiny battery. That is awesome. Alright guys, so this was a quick demo on uh, uh, the power bank. I don't know what to call this, maybe a portable AC power source. Okay, okay, we are shutting down. No idea why. This is shut down. I don't know what happened. But there is no more output.
normal output battery voltage 46.1 and the AC output is dead what is going on? the fan is still kicking on I don't know what's going on but the unit is still on but there is no AC output no idea what's going on so the breaker didn't go off so let's go ahead and reset it turn it back on or why don't we turn off the output so there is no load and turn it back on all right so it just needed to be reset and it seems to be working again that scared me for a little bit but it looks like we're still in business we're back to 124 volts so we wanna maybe remove the big loads like this one and turn it on again Yep, we're still in business. No issues. As you can see, everything is still on. Six decentralized energy generation. Off-grid systems promote decentralization by distributing power generation across a wide geographic area. This reduces transmission losses and the need for extensive infrastructure, making energy generation more efficient and cost-effective. 7. Cost Savings Off-grid power systems can be cost-effective in areas where extending the grid is expensive or logistically challenging. Once installed, these systems have relatively low operating and maintenance costs, and they often pay for themselves over time, making them a financially viable option. 8. Energy Efficiency Off-grid systems can be designed to be highly efficient as they often involve smaller, localized power generation and distribution. This minimizes losses in energy transmission and ensures that energy is used more effectively. 9. Disaster Resilience Off-grid power systems are essential for disaster preparedness and recovery. When natural disasters or emergencies disrupt centralized grids, off-grid solutions can provide essential electricity for emergency services, communication, and relief efforts. 10. Sustainable Development Off-grid power systems align with the principles of sustainable development by fostering economic growth, reducing poverty, improving health and education, and preserving the environment. They support the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, particularly those related to affordable and clean energy, and promote inclusive development. 11. Technological Advancements The development and adoption of off-grid technologies have driven innovation in renewable energy, energy storage, and energy management. These advancements have applications beyond off-grid settings and can contribute to the evolution of energy systems worldwide. In summary, off-grid power systems are important for extending energy access, promoting rural development, enhancing energy security, reducing environmental impact, increasing energy independence, improving energy efficiency, and contributing to sustainable development. They offer solutions to energy challenges in areas where centralized grids are not feasible or reliable, ultimately improving the well-being and economic prospects of communities and individuals. A portable power supply powered by a battery offers numerous benefits across various applications and situations. Here is a list of some of the key advantages. Mobility. The portability of a battery-powered supply allows you to use it anywhere, whether you're camping, traveling, working remotely, or during outdoor activities. Emergency power. Battery-powered supplies serve as a reliable backup during power outages, ensuring you can keep essential devices and appliances running. Versatility 
They can power a wide range of devices, from smartphones and laptops to small appliances and even medical equipment, depending on the capacity and outputs. Quiet operation, battery-powered supplies are silent, making them ideal for use in quiet environments like libraries or during outdoor events where noise pollution is a concern. Clean energy, many battery-powered supplies are rechargeable and can be charged with clean energy sources like solar panels, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and contributing to environmental sustainability. Energy efficiency, battery systems are typically highly efficient, with minimal energy losses during the conversion and storage process. Environmental benefits, using battery power reduces greenhouse gas emissions compared to using fossil fuels, contributing to a lower carbon footprint. Cost savings, over time, a battery powered supply can lead to cost savings compared to relying on disposable batteries or using generators with ongoing fuel costs. Grid independence, battery power provides independence from the electrical grid, which is especially useful in remote areas or during natural disasters when the grid may be unreliable. Noise reduction, battery power eliminates the noise associated with generators, making it a more suitable choice for situations where noise pollution is a concern. Low maintenance, battery powered supplies require minimal maintenance, typically involving periodic recharging and occasional battery replacement if needed. Safety, modern battery technologies incorporate safety features like overcharge and overdischarge protection, making them safer to use. Reduced air pollution, battery power does not emit pollutants, making it a cleaner and healthier alternative for both indoor and outdoor applications. Convenience, Portable power supplies with batteries often include features like multiple outlets, USB ports, and various charging options, making them convenient for charging multiple devices simultaneously. Eco-friendly options. Many battery-powered supplies utilize rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, which have a longer lifespan and are more eco-friendly compared to single-use batteries. Durability. Quality portable power supplies are built to withstand rugged conditions, making them suitable for outdoor activities and harsh environments. Customization. You can choose a battery-powered supply with the capacity and features that suit your specific needs, ensuring you have the right amount of power for your devices. Reducing energy waste. Battery power allows you to use the exact amount of energy you need without waste, as opposed to generators that may produce more power than required. Quiet and clean camping, battery-powered supplies are an excellent option for camping as they don't disrupt the tranquility of natural settings and are environmentally friendly. Sustainability, using battery power aligns with sustainable practices and helps reduce the environmental impact of energy consumption. In summary, a portable power supply powered by a battery offers convenience, versatility, cost savings, and environmental benefits, making it a valuable tool for a wide range of applications. From emergency preparedness to outdoor adventures and everyday mobile device charging. As you can see in this case, I had to do some soldering work on my car and I just brought this power supply, put it on the curve, turned it on, and connected it to my soldering iron. I was able to do the work with no issues. As you can see in this case, the portable power supply came in handy and saved the day. Otherwise, I would have had to go to a mechanic who could have charged me any amount for some work I can do myself very easily, but just didn't have access to a wall outlet to power the soldering iron. So go ahead and let me know in the comments section what you think about this project and remember to subscribe for more awesome projects like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Peace out.